As a child, my mother always complained that I always liked to play in the dirt, and that's probably where it started. I was attending Glendale Community College. I kept noticing a pamphlet for the University of Arizona's Mining and Geological Engineering program. And it fascinated me that I could do engineering and play in the dirt at the same time. I took a trip to the University of Arizona to inquire. As I was uh, preparing to leave, uh, the director of the department at that time uh, asked me, uh, would you like a scholarship? And I was like, are you kidding? Of course I'd like a scholarship. I'm a single mom and I have quit my job and uh, a scholarship would be great. One of the clues to Vicki's potential was that she was what we call a non-traditional student. She was older, she was raising a child, and uh, had already worked, and she knew what she wanted to do and what she didn't want to do. And she was very serious and very focused. And I think one of the great uh, attributes that I saw in Vicki, besides you know, a great sense of humor, was just this incredible work ethic. The ability to see what needed to be done and get the job done and, and do a fantastic job at it. I ran into Vicki at Sierrita early 2000s. They were testing a radar system, the very first one, where we could monitor the movement of the walls of the open pit. I was really impressed by the way she could operate, you know, uh, with people and, and work towards a solution. I was offered a position as my manager at the Candelaria Mine in the third region of Chile. It definitely was very exciting to me. I knew that I was going to be the first woman in a position like that. There were no women in the mine operations group when I arrived, and we, uh, we set out to, to change that. Women are, uh, operate equipment in a different way than men, and it's, it's, uh, it helps uh, prolong the life of the components and the tires and, and less property damage, etc. Of course, the men thought I was just saying that because I was a woman, I think, but it wasn't long before the maintenance department was recognizing this as well and saying the same thing. So uh, they were anxious to hire more women, actually, after that. My son, Clay, lives here in Tucson with his wife, Leanna. They have three children, all of them very strong young ladies. Most certainly we can say that times have changed. There are more women in mining today than there were when I started. We got some work to do yet, and we're working on that. I couldn't be more proud of Vicki as a colleague and a friend. It's exciting to see that she's receiving this award. Congrats, Vicki.